Hey, this is Spencer at Langston's Alternative Power. I'm doing a little testing today, mainly on this uh, EG4 8K right here, hybrid inverter. Um, today I'm just using this particular inverter to do a bunch of 120 volt load tests to see how uh, it holds up. This is a transformless inverter. Just want to see if it can do any better than most of the transformless inverters. I'll switch this camera. So, this inverter here, it's not the brightest screen, but um, it has a nice PV disconnect here. And it can take in up to 500 volts DC from your solar. It has four MPPTs on it, individual. And you got your generator input. The bigger one here is your grid L1, L2, and then it has two separate loads on it going out. I'm only using this one. I'm not quite up to date on everything on this. I just got this inverter in yesterday. Haven't heard anything about it too much, but you can contact me at this number here. For some reason, YouTube won't let you leave comments. I hadn't figured out how to get them cut on. But um, this is basically what we're going to be doing right here. I'm going to run, running this air conditioner right now on one leg. And then, well, before I go there, we're taking this 240 volt split phase power out of here, run it in to this Schneider um, AC distribution panel and I'm bringing it in as the grid and I've got this inverter here cut off so there's no power coming from it that cuts that off so everything is running well this is an enclosed trailer in case you didn't realize it's what I test on some of my equipment out in uh, and we've got let's see four now I got six three hundred and 65 watt panels on the roof excuse me 355 watt Canadian solars and I've got them running here but it's as you can see it's pretty cloudy so it ain't doing a whole lot right now so it's showing it's I haven't quite figured this menu out yet sorry for that the glare maybe it's light it. it just scrolls through the menus. I hadn't figured out how to keep it just on one yet. It's right now I'm pulling 1100 watts on just that one leg with that. <clears throat> so, trying to think if there's anything else before I go out here. We got this planer. Not sure how many amps it pulls. We can cut it on the see on see if it's got it on the screen. But before I do that, it's all this stuff's pretty loud. I got a uh, 240 volt plug coming out of this trailer, and it's running this cord. It's got L1 and L2. You got that way it kind of halfway balances it out. I'm not sure what the air conditioner, which leg it's on. Um, but I'm going to have this table saw, this chop saw, and that planer. I've already run all of these before at the same time, except for adding in the chop saw. But I'm going to cut them all on, and then I'll do some planing on this board. And then I'll cut some wood with that all at the same time, and we'll see how well it handles it. Table saw on. And that's three of them on now. Let's try uh, cutting some wood. See how it handles this. Thank 
3,000 watts, but they don't have any load on them there. That's what's coming from the battery. So we got 54% on L, L2 and 18% on L1. <clears throat> That's pretty good difference of uh, imbalance. And it doesn't seem to be even phasing it. The cooling fans had not even put on. Air conditioner still kicking. So, that's the PD. It was uh, bringing in too much to talk about. So we got 2,200 watts on one leg and 6,800 on another. I mean. 684 watts on another leg. <laughs> well, if I had three people here to help me, if I had three people here to help me, I could put, load all of them down at the same time. And I might try that later on, but that's a pretty good first test. I'm going to wire this inverter to that 10,000 pound lift in there. It's a 240 volt, which I got a grown air compressor in there. I takes the big inverter to run that one. I don't think I'll try it on that, but maybe. Y'all stick around for another video. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. If you need anything, just give me a call at Langston's Alternative Power, 319-4830. Y'all have a blessed day. Take care.